His reign was a beautiful time in his solo. Until one day, tragedy struck. Oba Olufemi suddenly went blind. The bleeding cutlass. Once upon a time, in an ancient kingdom of Ifalo, lived a king who ruled his people with equity and fairness. The people loved their king so much that they would do anything for him and their kingdom. Oba Olufemi was the people's choice and was very dear to them. On each kingship anniversary, they brought him the best cattle and yams for their various farms to honor him. On many occasions, Oba Olufemi, in his wisdom, had intervened justly in matters that would have resulted in communal clashes between Isolo and their neighboring communities, which made him even more popular in other clans. In fact, there was once a serious rape case involving a man from Ego who was accused of molesting a maiden from Isolo. After several trials and tests conducted by Oba Olufemi, it was discovered that the maiden had lied against the man from Igor because the real culprit from Isolo had threatened to eliminate her if she exposed him. After Oba Olufemi's investigation, he rewarded the accused with a plot of land in Isolo and apologized to his community with cattle and two bars of yam. He then sent the real culprit into exile. This act calmed what would have resulted in a communal clash between Isolo and Ego, making Oba Olufemi even more popular and loved. His reign was a beautiful time in his solo until one day tragedy struck. Oba Olufemi suddenly went blind. All attempts by the herbalists to cure him proved abortive. After several days of pain and commotion in the community, the gods finally spoke through a drunkard named Jide, who lived in a dilapidated hut close to the village river. At first, people didn't believe him because, obviously, who ever believes a drunk? But as he kept telling them that the cure was in the far away village of Ado, and that five able-bodied men were needed, including himself, to fetch the stem of the sacred tree. <laughs> People laughed even the more because it was unbelievable. How could he even consider himself as able-bodied? The villagers mocked. But as the king's condition worsened, the chief priest consulted the oracle one more time. And to his greatest surprise, the oracle repeated exactly what Jide had said. Immediately, the chief priest assembled five warriors plus the drunk Jide. He fortified them and sent them into the forest of Ado. But to their greatest surprise, Jide insisted they must fill his keg with brown wine if they wanted him to go on the journey. This was quite strange and amusing to everyone present, but they had no choice than to obey his commands. So they filled his keg with palm wine and immediately Jide leaped with joy as he hurried off to lead the search, since he was the one with the revelation. On their way, 
they encountered many obstacles from fighting the evil spirits to rescuing Jide who kept falling into traps. He even almost drowned as they crossed River Okolo. Thankfully, the warriors were trained swimmers, so they rescued and resuscitated Jide. Instead of thanking them, Jide scolded them for allowing him to fall into the river in the first place. Jide's mischief made the journey more tiring and frustrating, but the warriors had no choice because he was their leader, so their hands were tied. After many days in the forest, the search party finally arrived at Ado, where the sacred tree was. Lo and behold, Jide had forgotten the fortified machete by the riverbank where he almost drowned. The warriors couldn't believe their eyes as Jide began looking for the fortified machete all over the place. They couldn't imagine making the journey back to Okolo River, which would take more days. They were so furious and wanted to strangle him, but they realized that without him, they would not return to Isolo alive. Those were the instructions from the gods. So they bottled their anger and murmured their way back to Okolo River to retrieve the fortified machete. They prayed and hoped it was actually where he left it and not back in the village of Isolo, which would be much more longer. As they got close to Okolo River, Jide felt something sharp between his legs. He screamed in pain as the rest of the warriors ran to see what had happened. To their greatest surprise, Jide, in his drunk state, had hidden the machete inside his clothes while in the river it had slipped down a bit lower, remaining there until the long walk had pushed it down his thighs, giving him a sharp cut that reset his senses. In pain from the deep cut from the machete, he spilled the rest of his palm wine, and the warriors were extremely happy. Now they could continue their journey without Jidet's mischief. Soon after treating his wound, they resumed their search. This time, they walked in silence as Jide didn't utter a word except from his sobbing, which no one cared about because they were already tired of him. When they finally reached the sacred tree, Jide brought out the machete, made a few incantations, and took a deep cut into the tree. Suddenly, there was a loud thunder and a huge branch fell off. The warriors screamed in excitement as they carried the tree branch home. They didn't even look back to see if Jide was coming along as they didn't want the journey to be delayed anymore. This time, Jide hurried behind them as if something was chasing him. When they finally returned to Isolo, the chief priest performed some rituals with the tree branch, and immediately the king's eyes were opened, bringing the village back to life. Yes, Jide was bountifully rewarded but the warriors let her beat the hell out of him. Do you know that Enugu Ezike, a town in Enugu State, Eastern Nigeria, has the best palm wine in Nigeria, if not Africa. Enugu Ezike palm wine production spans generations. 
Wine tapping culture is one that has stayed through. It is unsurprising that they have one of the best palm wines. Palm wine also has several health advantages. The benefits of the palm wine includes its helpful abilities on the eyes. Also, it promotes lactation in nursing mothers and reduces the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Apart from these mentioned, several other wonders of the products abound. Thanks for watching. Love from the classic stories.